It's something you couldn't forget if you tried. Four college students say they will always remember the moment they were shot at a block party. It was near the Atlanta University Center. They were all there celebrating the start of a school year. Well, this evening, both the police department and the district attorney say it potentially could have been prevented if one of the accused gunmen was not out on bond for another crime. Months before college students were shot, Ahmad Coleman was arrested in Fulton County. He was accused of using an assault rifle to shoot up an apartment complex. But in that case, he was released on what's called a signature bond. The court's decision is now coming under scrutiny after Coleman was arrested last week in the shooting near the AUC. Fulton County District Attorney Paul Howard says it wasn't one judge who caused this problem. He says it's a failing criminal justice system overall. I can understand why the citizens are frustrated. I understand the frustration of the police. Uh, when this matter came up for bond, my office objected. We asked the judge not to let him out. But I, I think in order to understand what has happened and to make sure that this does not happen again, we have to continuously look at our current criminal justice system. D.A. Howard says the main thing he'd like to see is what's called a case processing standard. That's basically meaning a mandate amount of time for a case to wrap up instead of people sitting in jail or on bond waiting long periods of time for a trial to start. Here are three